Hi guys. Uh, today I will introduce about uh, how to create a donut 2D charts in the with using Fusion's library for subglobals. Uh, in my previous video, I have created a bar 2D line 2D line column 3D charts. Uh, you just check my channels and just watch my video for how to create a Fusion charts using uh, graphical reports. How to create graphical reports. So now today starting from the donut charts. Um, for the starting from donut charts, I'm just going to SQL Server and just create one table. Sales master inside the sales master sales ID month and amount three columns are there inside the columns some values are there just like January to 500 to 25,000 February 45,000 and uh, one query are there select month comma amount multiply by 100 divided by 40,000 means I need to find out a 40 th uh, I need to find out a percentage so I'll just run this query with using my sample db just run and just fire a query okay uh, in january 6.25 percentage sales are there in the february 11.25 in the march 3.75 so this is my query. I need to show uh, this value on the chart with using Donut. With using Donut. So I'm just going to Visual Studio. I have already created empty projects and just right click on the project, add new item, and just take one form, ASPX form, right from default to ASPX. Just click on Add option. And on the ASPX page, you need to take a server side control, literal. <coughs> ASP literal as a ID with one as a runnet server just for okay just right click on view code and uh, just put library like using system dot data using system dot data dot client and one is for the imports of lab, uh, for the fusion chart purpose using imports of global library uh, I need to add so do one thing you just right click on the projects and just click on add reference option and just go to the desktop because I have a in desktop uh, imports of global okay and just select it sorry Okay, now use it. Uh, I'll use the letter just one thing. Before the starting uh, page chart, you need to create an activity between SQL Server. So I have already created. I just copy paste. Just copy and paste. So just go to the web configuration file, you need to store a database connection path inside the configuration file. So connection strings. Wait. Connection strings. Name. DB connections. And the provider name was system Okay. Now just go to the server explorer. Just right click on the data connection, just click on edit connection option. And now change uh, with using SQL server. Just click on OK option. And now put a local server name just like local. And just select database. My fusion sample DB, just click on test connections option and just click on OK. Okay, now it's done. Uh, do one thing, just right click on the uh, database and just go to the property and just copy the connection strings and just paste inside the code of connection strings okay now just save and just copy the db connections and just go to the default.aspx page and just paste when you require to catch a database connection path with the configuration file then you need to put a code system dot configuration configuration manager dot connection strings okay and one extra global variable was as generate xml so when you require to use a fusions library 
inclusive library, then you need to create an XML file and just pass out to the SWF file, right? So I'm using in the projects one of SWF file and one of library inclusive global. So now in the right click on the project, just put new folder and just pass name of fusion chart. Okay, and I'll just go to the my collections fusion charts and just copy the donut.swf and just paste inside this. Okay, after that, this is my query, which is I have already mentioned in the SQL server. Same query. So after that, uh, I have a code, so I need to copy paste. Okay, just copy. If ds is not equal to null, means ds suppose not null and ds uh, rows was count greater than zero, then as generate xml is equal to starting from chart. So we now you can start with open text chart palette colors code was five. Now starting with for each condition, means till ending of row and just put generate xml set label months means I need to show a months and I need to show a value of percentage in the value in percentage right. Now close the chart is the simple syntax are there for the creating xml file after that letter one dot text letter one dot text fusion chart dot rendering means you need to render chart in a html format using infos of global library so now first was my sw file second was url is blank i don't need now pass xml file this is my caption monthly sales report and width and height. My width was 300 and height was also 300. So we required to pass a width max just like 600. Sorry. Right. And debug mode was pause and height was 300. Okay. In my turn, just right click on the page and just set a startup page and just click on run option. <coughs> My PC was slow actually, it was taking time. Some cannot find a table zero, so some problem are there. I'll just check out what the exact problem are there. Now gateway is not open, connection dot open and just just get adapter dot fill inside the DS and just close the connection. It's a basic concept for the database connectivity. I have already created more and more video on the my channel. Suppose you don't know how to connect the database with the dot net uh, so do one thing, you just uh, watch my previous video in the with the my channels and just check out. Okay, so this is done in 2D charts. Uh, it was very interesting actually and uh, very graphical layouts. Like just click on the, the tube, it was slicing. Let's check out. So, and suppose you require to rotation, just click on enable rotation and you need to rotate while. So, it was very useful and uh, very graphical and animated. So, when you require to create a graphic chart, then you need to use this and uh, suppose you required to code for the sample so do one thing just visit my site and i have already uploaded the my site on the my site the code so just visit the my site and just download the code and assembly all of things right thank you very much for the watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i have updated daily video 
so in the on the your mail for the updation for the which video will be uploaded in the now so do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you